good evening sorry uh, WPF common enable all checkbox in the top uh, today I'm talking about uh, checkbox in WPF actually uh, I want to design a single checkbox to enable uh, remaining all checkboxes uh, uh, I mean to say I want to design a single checkbox for all other checkboxes okay it means um, many other checkboxes is depend on single checkbox if it enable then all checkboxes are enable if it is disable then all checkboxes are disabled so uh, <coughs> the design scenario of mm, the question is uh, take stat panel control in the label control use technical skills uh, that is java c++ and uh, php uh, in in the stack panel i have a another stack panel this stack panel is used for the single checkbox that is checkbox is three state it means we have a three states uh, the position of intermediate also included and on off and checked unchecked and intermediate uh, the name of the checkbox is all select please uh, remind this the name of the checkboxes that is all select and the checked and unchecked fire single event that is all select checks checked and all select checked both are checked and unchecked call single event here and the text of the checkbox is enabled all so and we have another stack panels for other uh, three uh, checkboxes uh, or you can say the other three child checkboxes uh, you uh, add a checkbox control here add a three checkbox control here with the three different name um, property uh, the single uh, the first checkbox is used uh, designed for the java and second is cpp that is c++ and the third for php so the name of the uh, checkbox is single check java uh, and mm, the checked property mm, of the is fire an event that is single checked java checked unchecked here also checked and unchecked calling the same event that is single java checked okay, the text of the checkbox is java now copy and paste for two times yeah now change the text property of the checkbox that is c++ and the last one is php okay that's fine now also change the name property that is java in place of cpp and replace java with php okay that's fine now the logic uh, of the code behind is first of all get the all select uh, all select checkbox uh, that is enable all checkbox it's the property so uh, take a boolean value here so bool all checked mm all checkbox okay now get the name property of the uh, single uh, all select checkbox that is all select dot each checked is double equals to true if the condition is true then uh, uh, taking value in the all checkbox now the other remaining three checkboxes that is single checkbox java so when we select the value then single checkbox dot java is checked equals to all checkbox assign the value of the boolean property that is to the other single checkboxes is checked equals to all checkbox single checkbox php dot 
be checked equals to all checkbox that's fine through this code uh, we can design when we select uh, the single checkbox then other remaining checkboxes are select and deselect okay now check it now when we select the old checkboxes are select intermediate condition and the deselect or you can say unchecked but uh, when we select a particular checkboxes uh, like java cpp c++ when we select uh, one by one then all select checkboxes are not checked yeah yeah that is enable all is checkbox is not enabled here so design this code in the single checkbox java dot checked <coughs> so uh, all select dot is checked assign the null value first of all when when we checked single checkbox then check the condition is true or false if all checkboxes are checked then single checkbox is designed for others is also checked so single checkbox java dot is checked is true and single check check uh, php or you can say c c++ is is checked is true <coughs> and single check uh, php is checked is double equals to true then all select dot eject is also true all select dot eject equals to true if single check now copy this and assign the false value false false and false yeah that's fine now assign the all select checkbox dot eject property is false yeah yeah select the checkbox intermediate condition yeah deselect so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my old wpf tutorials thank you thank you very much